Okay, in this demonstration we're going to look at a transverse wave on a string and also look at how frequencies can resonate in that string. Uh, the first frequency that we can find is what's called the fundamental. And I have a loudspeaker driver here, which you can see going up and down, suspended uh, or attached here at this string that is suspended between these two poles. And as I increase the frequency, eventually I'm going to find a frequency that fits between the loudspeaker driver and the pole. And I'm not quite there. You can see it's trying to find it. And there it is. So that is 11 hertz here on my sine wave generator. And what we're seeing here is what's called the first resonant frequency or the fundamental resonant frequency of this string. Now this length of string represents one half the wavelength of the fundamental resonant frequencies. If you could imagine, the, the full period of the wave, if it were a sine wave, would continue. So we're going up and then down and back as we continued on past the pole. Uh, we are getting a full period here because the string is going up and down and up and down. So we're getting a full cycle there. It's just not the traditional sine wave that you're used to seeing drawn on a, on a chalkboard. Now, I can, I can get that wave. That would be the next harmonic. So if I go up to 22 hertz, now we're getting a full cycle on this string. So we have our, our first node, our middle node, and our last node. So this would be zero degrees, 180, 360 degrees, and then our two nodes are here, anti-nodes are here. Uh, I can go up to 33 hertz, and, and I have another frequency now that resonates. And we can keep going like this forever. Uh, infinite harmonics can be found on this string. What remains to be seen is how many we can actually see.